Hello guys, I would like to introduce you into my very recent little project, which is genetic neural networks. So in this particular case, I'm running 1600 cars, uh, which is population. And the current runtime is 1175 seconds. In fact, running on earlier trained already brain, so I just loaded from the file, and I have increased the difficulty of steering. So it is just learning on top of that again how to drive the current path. So it shows there's still seven brains, but we see actually there's neither 1600 cars, neither actually live brains at the moment. So why they are, so if you look in the scene, so I have actually 16 scenes, 16 maps, exactly the same. And then each has own sets of cars. So those 1,600 cars are split between those 16. And then we can see each of the maps has some best results. But we're using in here the common best result and the train and mutate in between those. So the best score is currently 43, which is basically reaching the end. And the average brain score, which is basically total score of each car or each brain divided by brain score. So while this is going on, I'm gonna show just uh, in 3D. This is in 3D. That's optional. So we got barriers, we got scores. So each car score the point when it drives through the real wide checkpoint, I would say. So it's better to view from top. So let's have a stop that. This will actually the save as well. And have a look into my manager. So let's focus on the manager. So my manager has 1,600 entities or cars set at the moment. The manager is also converted into entities, which I will show in a minute. And uh, each generation takes 20% of that population as an elite. That elite is contributing into the crossover between parents and later into mutation to give new offspring. The max lifetime is 30 seconds, a starting lifetime is 25. Or oh, the generation also will finish when all entities are dead, will basically hit the walls. Mutation range, which typically is minus five to five, it's just positive value. But in the code, in the core of the new neural network is also negative. So it's from negative to positive. Also the mutation factor, which mutates the weights between neurons, is split into four groups. 25% of population in a given time, it will mutate that percentage of weights between minus five and five. Now second group, doesn't got that minus five to five, but instead got the percentage of that. So it's 0 0.5. And then with the percentage of that, and it got lower percentage, so even a bit bigger chance. Another 20, 25%. And uh, higher chance, actually, uh, of mutation for the final group with smaller changes. I have also said read and write to files, but now I'm going to disable the write to file. Now we have, if you look in the scenes, so we've got four maps. I can add and remove further maps if I want to. So I could just duplicate that. I forgot to bring that one. But it's not, the, not so much important, but yeah, I'm just do that. Now, each map, that, that's the first one, which is prefab, 
also had spawn points. So I can copy and paste spawn points whenever I like. If I want to, for example, have more variation during the training, so for example, it doesn't overfit. Now I'm turning 90 degrees down, so the cars will spawn as well downside. So I got those spawns done. There's more spawns which I had hidden, if I want to unhide them. And now I can do override, apply all changes to all maps. I don't have to, but I can have each map different, so that is, this, this doesn't matter. And having now manager, put them in the game, and then let's try run it. And here we go. So the cars start, should start spawning now. So this first generation will be, did I say 20 seconds, 25 seconds? Yeah, so we need to wait that time um, till next generation will spawn. In the meantime, these are entities and these are systems which are running. So we got car spawns, which I mentioned. We got scores. So those uh, checkpoints. And we got colliders, which are walls. And we got, of course, cars. So, in fact, if we filter a car, so we realize that actually there is 3,200 cars instead of 1,600. And this is because the parents and the current cars. Parents just stole the information about the previous generation. The analysis doesn't matter. It just failed. Uh, incredibly failed <laughs> uh, entity or the car. Well, we should some find yeah some there here. We got those position of last cars, but the most important is not that what is above, but weights weights on between input and hidden layer and the weights between hidden and output layers. And those mutates. And depending on the input and output, car's behavior changes. Just to wonder, okay. So those are actually parents, so the previous generation. And we have current, which they uh, should be simulating, and some of them will be alive, so they're changing. Velocity is changing, so you're just driving. And we got those properties which have been crossover and mutated. So we now see the training going on on each of map. And we can see they spawning from different points. So you can potentially reduce overfitting if the map is complex or accelerate the training. We can change those walls as we want, so each map can be different. So that's not a problem. And uh, in principles, this is it. You see the scores. The score will be the highest from that direction toward the end. Yeah, and the project is split basically between three sections of four sections, I would say. Dots commons, which are basically some of my common components. Uh, Unity components which I took from some tutorials regarding the physics collision. Oh, we had full track passed. You want it for the examples, so anything which is related to the example, which is the scene and the manager. And genetic neural network core, which basically something which doesn't need to be changed. 
feed forward, doing crossovers, some timers, so this kind of stuff. And uh, looking just into the code, so this is similar split. So got some dots, components, tags, which is uh, assembly definition using. We got neural network core, which you can see also on the GitHub because there is um, source code. And the example, which stop here. So manager, this is manager, maybe the most convoluted uh, system. But uh, it can be customized. So that can be customized. A leader system can be customized just to have different outputs. Or does it have to be leader or something else? Collector score, which collects basically triggers of events and uh, grabs the brain and calculate the score. And car control, that's the property which I changed recently to make steering more difficult. So that's my authoring, converting the car data. And yeah, the brains, sorry, yeah, the, the brains. So the brain, the cars are spawned through that. Uh, convert it into entities. Yeah, they manage the brain. So they're basically the trained brain at the moment. And you can see it's just a uh, JSON format. And uh, yeah, I would say that's it. Uh, look into GitHub source, um, look on the forum Unity and drop some comments if you like. And thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this will be some useful for you. Cheers.